Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Soma. So, guess what? So, recently my computer um, had a Windows 10 update, and it, like, just forced itself on me. It was rude and rape, and I don't like updates because of reasons. And this would be one of them. I recorded this whole an entire episode already. Thankfully, this game actually has a bunch of saves, which allowed me to come back to this moment, because I was like, ha I, I have to start, like, a new game, play through everything, get to this point. Anyway... I played through like the next half hour of the game from this point just to find that um, when the computer updated it changed my recording software back to its default settings which caused it to no longer record this so it was just a whole video of me in the corner talking to nothing and, like you can't hear me and just the gameplay sounds and it was like a half hour of that it's just like no no I was so not happy and like now it's like I think I was talking all about like Buffer Festival because I was there this weekend, which now uh, Buffer Festival vlog is out, um, so you should go see that. You should you should go watch it. Yep. At least now like all the parts where I like didn't know what I was doing, I know what I'm doing because I've already played all this stuff for the next half hour. No, look, all the way down, all the way down. There we go. Yay. So I won't be feeling as dumb as last time. <laughs> I think there were a few moments where. Like, yeah. Also, now with, like, parts where there's reading, um, because I really kind of want to rush through this next half hour, <laughs> since I literally just played it. Um, I'm just going to show the text on the screen for a moment. You can pause and read it as you'd like. And, like, I'll just kind of quickly go through it. Um, but, yeah. Okay, press the next button. Press the next button. Come on. We're in a rush here. Come on, swipe, swipe. What? Oh, access ramp. Okay. Hurry up. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm so happy that if I go to load file, every time that I save and exit, it creates a new save file. So it's like, there's the beginning of every episode, and there's the end of every episode. It's perfect. I'm so happy about that. That's so good to know. Because I was like, I, what am I supposed to do? Should I just like walk back and everything? No, that doesn't work. Um, I need to keep remembering about my flashlight. Oh, there we go. I was like waiting. Okay, so Hello? we're just gonna. Anyone there? Spoiler alert! No. <laughs> and. Well, Catherine, we found Theta. That took me so long the first time to figure out like all these doors are locked. Where do I go? Yeah, saving time because I know the future. So, yeah. Um, but in here. Are you here? Yep. We're here. Yes. He okay, said that. Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves as submarine. Yes. There will be be nothing stopping us when we have the. Except there's some issues, sure so we need to like find someone. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a Just making sure that my mic's not muted. It has a mute a button on it. I was like, what if that's now the muted? Because the then I'd be really, really upset if, like, the that's second time recording this. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't oh, God, is my hair much. even nice? Kath. Okay, come on. What's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's like you know, reality. Like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air. Underwater bases, so people in the killer robots. Pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself. Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it could survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... It's... Come on. Heroic. Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat. Yay, oh, it's damaged. Damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. Yep, I knew What's it before wrong? you because I knew everything because I know everything in the next it's little future. Hold so on. It's like, oh. We need a security but since I'll go through faster, uh, I'll probably go a little further than I did last like time when I first back. recorded this. Maybe someone's still around who <laughs> can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. Yeah, let's go I'll find someone. I'll just unlock the other doors for you so you can explore the station. Except the only things I saw alive I really don't want to find. Um, so, site status. Like everything, I'm just gonna. You guys can pause and look at stuff if you like. Oh! Ooh! I did not see this last time. 
I did not go on this computer. Uh Looks like all your friends moved downstairs. Why abandon the gate? And the habitat? That's so strange. I don't like this at all. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, I have a friend named Alvaro. Um they are not deceased. Missing Deceased, deceased. Now this is probably also just not updated because I really doubt that all these people are still alive. Wasn't Ast is Astrid the guy that came here and killed everyone? I, I forget. <laughs> Speaking of Alvaro, he literally is responding to something on Twitter right now telling me to go to bed. So, yeah. After this recording, I can go to bed. And things are working again, but that's actually hilarious that like I mentioned him in the video and then on Twitter I'm getting a notification from him. He's just psychic. Okay. We're just gonna like plow through this. Oh, it's so scary. Except I know that there's nothing scary coming up too soon. Some power shifting things and whatnot. Um, there was nothing here. There was like a sound outside my earphones and that's what scares me. Oh no, the lights. And I threw Buddha last time, so let's do that again. Um, yeah, there's nothing in either of these spots. I'll open the doors to the two bathrooms. Why would they all leave this floor? I don't get it either. It's like they all just cleared out. Right, this is a dead end. Cut off both spots. <laughs> like, I feel like it would be a disservice for me to try and, like, film this again and pretend to be, like, um, react to things like I did the first time because then it's just lying, really. So... I don't know, but then at the same time, it's like, by doing this, I'm just like, oh, I'm just rushing through everything. Isn't that just entertaining to see? But, um, I think, was there something in this one? I'm What's so interesting downstairs? Just labs and offices. Maybe the shuttle station. Should we go check? Rather not. I didn't read the, la the back of this one last time. I have a feeling about this. But I don't know what that is. Is there a bunch of different books? Oh, it's a sharpener. Um, yeah, I don't believe there's anything in this room. Nope. Nope. Yes. It's Catherine's room. Let's turn on your lights. Hi, hey, Catherine. You want me yep. to bring something? A souvenir? It's your monkey. Yeah, just memories. Catherine in the trash? Just the teddy bear could use some repairs. Yeah, Toby staple it. Breaks. He's top heavy, so he keeps falling over. I seriously doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Obviously. It's interesting because... What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... <gasps> Yo! Score! Yeah, guys, guys, we got her bra. I didn't it, find that last time, but I also wasn't for looking sure. for her bra. Does she not want to comment on the fact that I'm just playing around with her bra? Is that not weird? Okay. There we go. <laughs> what else is there? What is this? Shirt. <gasps> Guys. You don't have to search my room. We'll get by. She's being testy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna trash the room. There we go. Yep. Your water need your, your water needs <laughs> your plant needs some watering. And toss that. Oh, I hope that wasn't important. Oh man, shit. Yeah. Oh no, Catherine, your water. Now and that's actually your water. <laughs> um. What was I trying to say before? I don't know. Ooh, can I break it, break it, break it, break it? <laughs> she is an adult. Ooh. Let's kill your power. Stop cell. Maybe we should move on. She doesn't like me going through her drawers. Which is all the more reason to go through. What are you trying to hide? Ooh, a fan. Cool fan. Thanks. Reminds me of Taipei, my hometown. Um, move the, move the chair. Yeah. Break your mug. Just Come on, no need to go through all my stuff. 
Wait, oh, yeah, it's the tablet that we go through. <clears throat> so this is going to be her journal. Once, Like I said earlier, I'm just going to skip through it. So any of this you want to read, pause. Have your finger ready if you want to read this stuff. I'm skipping through, so I'll, pa I'll briefly pause on, like, each page. We'll give you a moment. Continue. And so on. And so on. And so on. There we go. The gist of it, as I believe, spoiler alert if you haven't just read it, um, I, and I believe it's talking about um, her whole, like it's the her after this her that I'm talking to was created, because it's the real her's journal, right? Um, the, the her that we talked to is the scan of her. Which, so, I mean, get out of my room already. Um, she was the first person to be scanned. So... The robot, her, I guess, doesn't know about everyone committing suicide after. Um, and so it briefly touched on that where, like, all these people were committing suicide after because they have this belief. This guy. Wait, is it this room? No, maybe it's another room. Who's this one? No, I think this is the guy. Yeah, here he is. Um, when you read this, I will have entered the arc. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I see her now's com uh, completion, I will bite down quickly, causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there's no tragedy to mourn, but for I am victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Sincerely, Mark Strang. Um, so yeah, the idea is he believes that he can kill himself and appear in the thing. Now, the rant that I went on previously when recording this is that is not possible. If you make a clone Maybe of something... Stop talking, I'm ranting right now. You're really stuck on if you have one thing and you make a double of it, this double... You, like, you, this person isn't seeing two things. They aren't seeing this person's thing and this person's thing. They aren't a conscious of both things existence because they are not both things at the same time that is not possible so if one ceases to exist you do not suddenly become like this does not suddenly become this this is just another person like another person it's similar kind of with twins not that twins are clones or anything or even the same but dna wise they are the same and they have their separate lives their separate thoughts their separate memories they are not connected now there's the whole rumors about like twin telepathy and that's a thing that's another story. But at the same time, if a twin dies, its consciousness doesn't go into the other twin. Because then what would happen to the first twin that's there? It was just, would just override it. Do they combine? It doesn't work. So now taking this person's real-life person and turning them into data, this is just a digital copy. This is taking, I'm, I have a piece of paper here, and I'm going to scan the paper. I now have a digital copy. I can burn this one because it exists there. That's not the same thing. That's not the same thing. If you take a scan of a person, well, literally scanning, um, a scan of a person and destroy the original person, that scan is not, like, the the physical person will not move into the scan. Anyways, that's my rant. This works to ring. You're, like, idiot. I commented on, like, he has all this math stuff here, and it's like he couldn't figure that out, that, like, no, you're just dead now. So, everyone killed themselves for nothing. GG. Um, now this was the creepy thing. I don't know if we can see it again. We'll probably see it briefly. I don't know. Does it come from this way? Yeah, this is where we're heading, and there's something over there. Uh, last, time you, last time I recorded it, there was a, like a slightly better view of it. But like all you can see is the arm. You have to like... I wonder... Wait, I don't want to open that. <laughs> um... Oh, no, I don't want to close the door. Right, this room just doesn't have light. Um, I think this was just a room. I don't think there's anything relevant here. No. Yeah, it's just, like, meant for health. Um, and... Oh, come on. Come on. I think this one has blood. Yep, blood. Yay. Another person that killed themselves. GG, Mark Serang on getting everyone dead. Over some trivial belief. Ooh, it's so scary. Except, where's the body? Wait, who would this be? Robin. I'm. Well, that could be either the guy or the girl in the picture. Um, we're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Serang and the continue. Con I, I, had, I have difficulty saying this word. And I had difficulty last time recording this. Continuity. There we go. 
continuity. Hey, look, a scanner. We can scan some people. Look, so this is literally what I'm talking about. We're gonna, can I take something? No, I can't pick up the picture. I can't place things. There we go. This is a real cup. I take the cup and I take a scan of it. No, Siri, I'm not talking to you. Second. Um, so I take a scan of cup. Now I have a digital copy of it. Now I break cup. Now, that doesn't mean that that cup suddenly becomes the second cup. The second cup is a separate entity on its own. Let's break that, can we? No. Okay. Okay. Actually, now I think we're pretty much almost... Not yet, but, like, we've almost caught up on where I had recorded to. Because now I believe... I don't like that. I believe... I think we're heading here. I commented on, oh, I don't like this because I thought this was going to lead to that zombie thing, but that's not the case. Spoiler alert, no zombie in this room. Um, Welcome to my place. When I started the art project, no, I pretty much stay. Lab. There we go. Grab this thing. Um, now computers are not working. We need to do something in the generator room. That's down, I think, where the zombie is. Um, this is where I would store the arc scans. So this you is the scans of the people. Digitally on these chips? That was the plan. Yep. Except they're all fried, so look at putting your faith into digital scanning. This is going to last thousands of years. All these people are going to live forever. No. No, look at this. They're all dead. Ah, oh, these people are so stupid. A digital copy means nothing. It does not continue the reality of, like, the real person. Like, maybe they'll have their consciousness and be able to be a digital copy, but that is all it will be. It's the same as, like, recording someone's voice and putting it into something. Oh, that's different. Wait, is that it? multiple? Last time I did not see this one here, I found it over somewhere else. An Does intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Uh, yeah, last time I found the intact one in this stand here. I just want to unplug all these just to, like, all the people are dead. Bye. This is my arc. No one else gets access to the arc. <laughs> the archive. Ha! Oh, the arc is the archive of all the people. Look at that. I'm so clever. Oh, no. You do not get to live. Not that these chips are working anyways, but like... Yeah. Oh, uh, no. And... Come on. I was like, like, taking the time to do this, but I must. And I think that's it. Oh, nope. Now that should be it. There, bye. Okay, so we can plug that in here, but we can't use the computer yet, so it doesn't matter. Now it's wrong. Plug all that stuff in here. Everything's wrong. Tell me what's wrong. That's not good. Can I fix this? This will be the part, Catherine, where you tell me how to fix this. I think. I think she did previously, or I don't know. My flashlight keeps turning off. Blood! Yay! Robot. Here's the room where they this did is the scans. Where I, did my scan. and I beat her to it. Others, I you don't remember? My scan was the first. Yep. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Okay, this thing. Yay. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab. The scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna Tell people to, to stop killing Stromer. themselves. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fault they're all miserable want? idiots. It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. I just thought about something. So this whole time I've been saying that this world is the Ark, then would that not mean that all these people before are either also scans or because I'm saying that the, oh this is the pre-scan Catherine but if this is the arc that I'm currently in then that's not possible unless the data of these recordings is simply being sent to the arc world and this recording is actually coming from an outside world that I don't see but I assume is this world uh Hmm. Ooh. That changes things. That changes things about all my theories. 
Shit. Because if this whole world is fake, then this whole idea of scanning people, them all killing themselves, what if killing themselves releases them from the arc and maybe puts them into another arc? But, hmm. Oh, man. Shit. I didn't ah, think I about see. that. Ah, I see. Check the terminal. I just want to make sure. So these are all the people, I mean, some of the scans that we have. Um, I don't know Na Nanami. I don't think we knew the, know this guy, Paul Berg. But here we know this guy. We briefly met him in the first episode, David, David Munchie. Munchie. How did this... What is this? And now... <gasps> it's... It's us. Cap, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates. The legacy scan. So we're going to listen to the recordings now. Okay, so, that's it. Wow. This is me is right after the scan the that's first early. episode. Still figuring this out, so... It's freaky. So this so is months. real me? What do we do now? Or not real me? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're gonna keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now. The brain damage. You guys, everything. It's made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Okay, so. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So, my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be Yay, back. me. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. Okay, so here's the question. The problem with my previous theory. If this is the arc, if someone's just messed with the arc and made a terror story or something, and we're already there and all this really is fake, then they would that would mean that they have to be able to implant memories into us. Because Catherine has memories of living in this place as a human before the scan. So, if this place is fake, unless this is just a digital recreation of a place that actually is real. Oh god, that changes things again. What if this whole area was real, then people got scanned into the machine and someone went and turned that machine and sent all these people into this fake arc, which is a copy of a real place that now they think, oh shit, just hit the fan here. So maybe my theory still does work. Maybe this place is real in a reality, but not this one. Anyways. Duh, I hate that thing. Every single time I walk by there, it scares the shit out of me. Simon, but something we didn't look at last, last time. Look. It me. The proxy. the proxy we killed was blind, just like Acres, but it listens. This is so Careful, freaky. We spotted two more by the infirmary. What do they look like? Not sure. It seems to be human enough to pass for a crew member at a distance. Tall, dark, and ultimately faceless seems to be what to look out for. A 
keep my eyes open. I hate that room. Even like I knew that was coming, but still, it just breaks the show me. We're like, oh, power outage. Anyways, so we're now heading to the spot where I was when I ended the ep episode off previously. Um, I think I may continue a little further, but at the same time, this really is kind of a good ending spot for an episode. So this time I'll walk down the stairs. I'll go that far at least. And we'll see. I think this leads towards the thing. Towards the thing that we had seen through that one window. Because... Can I see through there? Uh, maybe I do just want to end the episode. Yeah, yeah, I think I will because, like, it just logically makes sense. This is a good spot. This will be a next area. If I get into there, then I'm starting off a new whole thing. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry if I kind of, like, rush through stuff because, like, I literally just recorded all this stuff. And I'm just recording recording it all again, which sucks. Um, so, I I tested before to make sure that the sound should be working fine on this video. So, I have to record it a third time. And now make it try and make it a point at least of checking that program and making sure it doesn't change again because that's frustrating. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys with another video soon. Goodbye.